Good morning, or should I say, good afternoon, good evening. I don't know what it is by the time you watch this, but it's Thursday morning at the moment. I am at, yeah, you guessed it, the beautiful, beautiful cathedral on the hill, as they call it. Our fortress, our cauldron, our home to the fantastic side that we have challenging for the league title. Yes, I said that, challenging for the league title. It's your boy Carl, it's Newcastle Fans TV, this is a new series and it's called Want to Watch. Right, so what is it about? I know you're all sick of the usual transfer rumour videos, but unfortunately it is one. It's just dressed up and um, prettified in a little package uh, where we're going to look at a little bit of analysis around these players that we're linked with. Um, this isn't to say that he's someone that we're definitely going to sign, but I'm going to focus on the players that I think there is a higher potential of Newcastle United signing. And the first one for this series, that's called Ones to Watch, is none other than Yuri Tielemans, the Belgian bomber, I'll call him. <laughs> um, signed for Leicester, made his debut for Leicester in 2018-2019 Premier League season and has well certainly has been one of their um, focal points for the way that they play their particular brand of football. Now I personally have spoken about things like philosophy and ethos, these kind of buzzwords that are thrown about by lots of different people to kind of encapsulate a um, an identity for a football club and honestly I feel like Newcastle United's identity at the moment is very similar to what Leicester's identity was when they pushed on for that Premier League title and also what they've done afterwards. Now um, Brendan Rodgers has certainly changed the way they play a little bit, uh, they have looked more of an attacking side I think is fair to say um, but I think we kind of mirror Leicester's um, Premier League title winning side far more than what their current side we do. However, there's players within that Leicester City side that I think will fit into the Newcastle side to help them progress and not at the expense of breaking the bank. And Yuri Tielemans is certainly one of them. Now, for many of you who won't know, and I'll keep this um, you know, as short as possible, Yuri Tielemans is very, 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 very close to signing for Newcastle United last summer. Now, we know for a fact that several people were ready to announce it for several broadcasters. They didn't do that because it fell through right at the last second. The reasoning for that, I don't know. Um, it might have been the case that Yuri Tienemans just wasn't sure that it was the option for him, and that's fine. It's, several players have done that. Several players will be eating their words. Um, but Yuri Tienemans' contract is up for Leicester City in the, at the end of this season, and he's somebody that they certainly won't want to be losing money on when there's an opportunity to at least regain some of the fee that they paid out. Um, certainly from clubs like ourselves in January. Um, now, what does he offer? When he's played alongside Ndidi, he plays in that deep lying kind of playmaking role, that al almost CDM role, but not quite that deep. The the pivot role that people like to to call it now, again, a buzzword that's that's used many many a time. Not not one that I like personally, but it is what it is. And. Leicester press, press or used to press very high. Um, they don't so much anymore, and they used to once winning the ball high. They used to transition into attack very, very quickly, and that's something that we do. And I feel that we press the ball even higher than them. Um, but it would allow us to almost drop back a little bit and and win the ball in deeper positions and, as well, and enable us to transition into a quicker attack than we already have. Now we have Bruno, who's able to do that. But imagine having somebody like Tielemans next to him, which would allow Bruno to either push on it more or um, Tielemans kind of becomes his wingman's the wrong word, but almost does become his wingman. He's able to win the ball back and then Bruno's able to pick out a pass and vice versa. I just feel like they're two players that could interlink very, very well. And I think that central midfield role has become the priority in January due to the fact that John Joe Shelby arguably won't get a contract renewal and it's it's 
gutting to say that because yes, I've had my rants towards him when Steve Bruce was at the helm, but many of you know who've been with the channel long enough know that I was a massive advocate of John Joe Shelby. Posters on the wall, the lot. Everybody loves a baldy in the middle was my chant. Um, but he's just succumbed to injuries and I really, really feel for him. And for us to progress, we do need to kick on um, and sign players to replace the likes of John Joe Shelby. I hope it isn't his last season, but I really do think it will be. And if we can, you know, switch him out for someone like Tielemans, no disrespect to John Joe, but I do feel with the way that we play now, it would be uh, an upgrade. Um, as I said, 25 million we were going to pay for Tielemans back in the summer last year. Contracts up this summer. Leicester won't want to lose any money. He's not had his greatest season because Leicester haven't been very good at all. Um, but even in the game, look, we smashed them, didn't we? We did. But there was that 15 to 20 minute spell where Tielemans was picking the ball up and he was splitting Shaw and Botman with a couple of passes. It was the first time this season, arguably um, other than Kevin De Bruyne, where I've looked and thought, Oof, Shaw and Botman um, weren't even caught out of position. It was just that there were absolutely unbelievable passes from that central midfield role. And if we can add that to what we've already got, surely, surely it's a positive. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, do you think that the Yuri Tielemans deal is a possibility? Is he someone that you'd want in the squad? Would you take him over James Madison? Because I know that James Madison is everybody's favourite at the moment. And, you know, we'd all love him in the side. But honestly, I, I really feel that Tielemans would, would um, complement the style of football that we have and Eddie Howe's ethos far more than James Madison, I do. James Madison would give us that number 10 outlet. But with John Joe Shelby um, being sidelined for six to eight weeks, we need a deeper line midfielder to complement and to play along Bruno. Um, I don't think Joe Willock is that. Joe Willock likes to pre press on, and I think he's better up the pitch. Um, Sean Longstaff, I don't think, has the legs to just play that role, although he's been very, very underrated this season. Um, Joe Linton, again, box-to-box -box midfielder, but he's not someone that I'm looking at to sit deep, win the ball back and, and play uh, defence splitting passes. That, that's not what we've got. Bruno does that. But Bruno offers far more as well. Um, so we need another another um, deep line playmaker. And for me, Yuri Tielemans is a no-brainer. As I said, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. We'll bring up some heat maps for you to see where he was most effective in the 2020 and 2021 season. Um, if you haven't already, smash the like button, share, subscribe. It's been your boy Carl from Newcastle Fans TV, and this is the first episode, Wants to Watch. 136 games, 21 goals, and 19 assists across the last four or five seasons that he's been at Leicester. Not a bad re return at all, very, very solid. He offers far more than that, we know, um, but it's something that we would definitely welcome into this already strong Eddie Howe, Newcastle United side.